Tuesday the 4th of June 2024 First reading Reading from the second book of Peter You should be living holy and saintly live while you wait and long for the day of God to come when the sky will dissolve in flames and the elements melt in the heat. What we are waiting for is what he promised, the new heavens and new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain so that he will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. You have been warned about this, my friends. Be careful not to get carried away by the errors of unprincipled people from the firm ground that you are standing on. Instead, go on growing in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. To him be glory in time and in eternity. Amen. Responsorial Psalm O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years, are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong, and most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Gospel Cremation Alleluia, Alleluia The word of God is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the book of Mark the chief priests and the scribes and the elders sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to catch him out in what he said. These came and said to him, Master, we know you are an honest man, that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you, and that you teach the way of God in all honesty. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay yes or no? Seeing through their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why do you set this trap for me? Hand me a denarius and let me see it. They handed him one and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they told him. Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. This reply took them completely by surprise. Gospel of the Lord <laughs>